was here during the day, that day, and I flew to Yuma that night. A couple hours after arriving in Yuma, I get a call from Salinas that there was a small fire in room three. Oh yes, under control. Two hours later, it was way out of control. And I knew it was bad because Matias doesn't call me at 7.30 at night unless it's bad. I was in Yuma. I was driving and then Marcus called me and said, you know what, wait, stop the move because something happened. I got a call from Borman and he said the plant's on fire. And I said, oh, I'll be there in 15 minutes. I drove right there and never left. We have breaking news to tell you about that's going on in Salinas right now. It was an inferno. A huge fire at Taylor Farms in Salinas. Oh God, it was shocking. It was bad. There were flames and there was embers going up and it looked pretty severe. That's when we realized that we ain't moving. So we canceled the move. We actually sent back a couple of trucks to reassemble some of the lines we had taken down. Commitment, teamwork, vision, organization, adaptability, resequence, succeed. Well, we've had a fire, but the classic phrase is there's two kind of people, those that run to a fire and those that run away. I think it's individuals that can adapt in that environment are successful at Taylor Farms. Maybe the principle is foundation. We have a good foundation. And that means a lot. It's terrible, but you gotta start somewhere and just kind of claw your way out of it. We all came in knowing we we're gonna rebuild. We all knew we had a season to do it. One year, it was a stretch. We went into it and said, okay, we're gonna find a way to do it. Let's call in the best. We knew who to call. I think that's the great thing about Taylor Farms and being here and experienced. You've got the numbers in your cell phone. So we had a 24 hour plan, a seven day plan, a 30 day plan, and a 60 day plan. So the first seven days were the worst. You have a perfectly good running plant in Yuma right now. So let's start there. So we have raw product. Things are in the wrong spot. How do we get them in the right spot? If I remember Friday morning, they told me, you know what, Martin, there is a factory that we can install 10 baggers. What items can you run there? So we start planning. We moved tons of times. We've been there since day one, basically. So I have a lot of experience moving equipment. Just never in an empty building, so that was the challenge for me. Going into an empty building and trying to make that a processing facility, that was totally new. I remember when we started moving lines from Yuma to Taylor 2, we met in the parking lot, and I asked them, raise your hand if you have more than 10 years in this factory. Everyone, more than 10 years, more than 15 years, some employees more than 20 years. They have the experience, they know what to do. Yuma. Taylor II, Schilling, San Juan Batista, the regions were helping out, Mexico was helping out. So a lot of work on the receiving side. We're also shipping out of four or five different things and we're transferring raw finished product back and forth. It just took a lot of daily check-ins. We just had to check and recheck. People hunkered down and they really were champs in their specific professions. It's very important that all the departments that are chip in because otherwise we would not be able to make this happen. We have the best people. We have the best employees. They really are proud to work for this great company, and that was the difference. No other company in the world could pull together a factory that burned down, supply their customers without interruption, build a new factory again, and be ready when the season comes up. That's just unheard of. This is definitely a once in a lifetime experience. Jocko is the Alexander Hamilton of the group, for sure. His mind is always racing, and he's a work machine. Matias is kind of like the Buddha Zen guy. Always calm, always collected, but you trust him 100% because he's going to do it. There's no one quite like Martin. He's the best production guy in the industry, and he has been for many years. He's one of those guys, he doesn't realize how creative he is. Marcus, he was working every single day. I think like at probably 20 to 24 hours every day. He was planning every single detail in the team. So the one thing that I like about this is the flow is all across. It's one large processing room. It looks well thought out. It should be very efficient. Yeah, all my toys perfectly in line, all facing one direction, no obstacles. So I think by the time anybody sees this, we'll be in the plant running. I'm proud and I'm relieved and I'm excited to show people what we did. And this is a great story. A dream come true, the impossible was possible.